So reframing uh, for the reflective practitioner to resolve uh, difficulties and controversies in the classroom um, is very much promoted by conceptual innovation and concept-based teaching and learning. And there are particular benefits that we can identify in terms of this conceptual approach for the reflective practitioner. Um, if we think about the reflective practitioner as somebody who inquires into teaching and learning, then this identifies a teacher who is constantly questioning and uh, investigating issues and problems. Somebody who is interested to explore and to discover new understandings about teaching and learning. From a conceptual point of view then, the reflective practitioner as an inquirer uh, provides a standpoint um, which directs the reflective practice process. We can also think of the reflective practitioner as somebody who is very knowledgeable, somebody who has a very sound grasp of the subject that they teach and also um, they have a very clear understanding, um, a very precise appreciation of how to teach that particular subject in the most effective way to students. And therefore, a concept-based understanding of the reflective practitioner as somebody who is very knowledgeable, again, helps us understand that um, the teacher is um, always looking to um, be the most uh, knowledgeable that they can about their subject. And um, we can consider the concept of the reflective practitioner as uh, a thinker. Um, this, is, uh, this really embodies the idea of reflection on and in practice. And we can consider this as the teacher, as somebody who, who thinks things through, who ponders situation, who um, is looking for cause and effect, um, trying to identify reasons for things and looking at the effects of actions and, of course, the final outcomes of those actions. If we look at this particular concept, then this really um, underpins the notion of the reflective practitioner. And we can also look at the concept of the reflective practitioner as a communicator. Um, for effective reflective practice, um, we're, we need to look beyond the uh, solitary aspect of reflection and look at more collaborative and cooperative forms of reflection. And if we conceptualize the reflective practitioner as a communicator, then this is a teacher who is able to um, uh, express issues, problems very clearly to others in order to get feedback uh, and uh, information to help them reframe the problem and maybe find ways to resolve those particular problems. We can also conceptualize the reflective practitioner as somebody who's very open-minded. This means that the teacher is somebody who is not biased and doesn't uh, hold any judgments about the work that they do or the people that they work with. And it's somebody who will tend not to jump to conclusions very quickly, but will always be looking to explore conclusions rather than finalize them. And of course, we can always conceptualize the reflective practitioner as a person who is ultimately reflective, somebody who is looking at the world and looking at the work they do, not just in terms of it being a mirror, but rather than it being a, a window through which to perceive. Um, and this gives a very different point of view conceptually about the reflective practitioner. 